Hey, beauties. So I'm about to attempt, attempt y'all, because I never did this before, a ravioli bake. So I'm just going to cook my meat, y'all. This is like a little over a pound of hamburger meat. I just put some taco seasoning and pepper in it. So I'm going to let that brown. And then this is the ravioli that I got. I got this from Aldi's. And then I got my spaghetti sauce. Um, I haven't pulled out my cheese yet, but I'm going to get that out. I got some block cheese that I'm going to use, I believe. But yeah, y'all, like I say, I never did this before. I was just uh, strolling on YouTube, and I seen this. It seemed pretty easy, and they was looking so good. So I'm just going to do it my way, you know, just try to go by the basics and then add what, you know, the flavors and stuff like that, what I think me and my family are like. But I will definitely let y'all know how it turns out. All right. Oh, those are kind of big. So I'm just going to boil these for a little bit, y'all. And then once these are done, I'll start layering it, and then I'll put everything in the oven. Okay, beauty, so here we go. I have boiled these. I have got my meat over here. These are the two cheeses I decided to use, the pepper jack and the mild cheddar. And y'all seen my pasta sauce already. So I'm just going to layer this, and I will show y'all what it looks like layered. And that is about it. I hope this turned out right, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Okay, beauty, so here's what we looking like. I used a half, I don't want to show y'all that can because it's so nasty, but I used a half of that can and then I used a half of each one of those block cheese and then I left like two or three of those because they were really big. So this is what we looking like y'all. I'm just going to cover it in some foil and then I'm going to come back and check it probably after about 15-20 minutes and I will show y'all when it's completely done. So here's what it's looking like y'all. I cannot believe this cheese. It must have had oil in it. I should have made a cheese sauce. Matter of fact, I'm thinking maybe I could pull this cheese off. Or oh, this is so bad, y'all. I don't like for my cheese to be hard like that. I want it to be melted. So I might actually pull this cheese off and make a cheese sauce or either put some jar cheese on here. I might do the jar cheese. What y'all think? It's been in there for about 20 minutes. I can't try yet because I fast and I can't eat till four o'clock. So I think I'm gonna, uh, I hate to pull it off and then it's good, but yeah, we don't really like cheese like this. I bought the block cheese. I just assumed it was made of milk, but I guess it was made of oil. So I'm just gonna wait till four o'clock. Hopefully my husband will be here by then so he can try it before four and I can see if I'm gonna pull that cheese off. But yeah, y'all, this is what it's looking like. And like I say, I can't taste it yet, but I will definitely let y'all know if I keep it like this, I take it off and what it tastes like, okay? Okay, beauty, so here's the finished product after the second time. My husband says it's good. I haven't tried it yet. It's right here. But uh, I'm about to. <laughs> so hopefully it's better than before.